As part of the uh, planning process, uh, we had to provide to the owner a new uh, grounds maintenance building um, and some temporary storage, uh, which is what you see in the, uh, in the, in the uh, mid-ground. Um, we turned that over about uh, three or four weeks ago. What you see here in the foreground uh, below me um, is our generator sets. Uh, with uh, opportunity to put in a third generator at some point in the future should it become necessary. Uh, and we've got our uh, chiller plant um, and uh, they've started to do the curbs and uh, heavy course on the asphalt uh, on our communicating loop road. So what we've got here is the uh, secure patient courtyard um, in progress. Um, so we've got a small little uh, area for a little uh, pavilion uh, that'll be to the left and uh, a small uh, concrete area with a, that'll have a basketball hoop as well so they can again have a little bit of physical activity if they so desire um, and then a walking loop uh, that gives them some some opportunities to um, you know get some exercise so inside the building they've made a great deal of progress uh, what you're seeing here is, is probably the furthest along uh, for uh, the patient rooms. This particular room is a two-patient uh, ADA room, uh, so patients with, uh, with physical disabilities um, would, would be housed in these particular rooms. Um, and then, of course, the, uh, the patient uh, bathroom, we have this uh, special uh, ligature resistant uh, privacy door uh, so that uh, patients have a little bit of uh, modesty while they're using the restroom. And then finally this is uh, this is how our new front of the uh, the building uh, is developing. Uh, as you can see uh, there's a great deal that has been completed. We have some cleanup to do obviously and all the uh, site concrete and parking in front of the building. Uh, but for the most part, the, uh, the building itself, uh, you can see its final shape.